I, I would have loved to have had a situation where I just look at my dad and I and go, right, that's the perfect, that's the perfect mould, if you like, you know, but the life is not perfect. And my father and I, even though we're very close, I had lunch with him, sorry, dinner with him the other night, you know, eight o'clock at night in Chinatown, meeting up with my dad, big hug, going for a nice feed and just laughing the entire night. It hasn't always been like that, even though I was always close to my dad. My dad left when I was five, the family home and you know, I, I missed him terribly, you know, and um, even though my mum was awesome, I, I still missed not having my dad there and I used other fathers of my mates as role models and I asked them advice. I asked them about, oh, you know, this, I like this girl, how, can, how am I going to invite her out? When I had all sorts of issues with my, my, my weight as a teenager, I couldn't go to dad and talk to him about it because he wasn't there. Um, I would like to feel that every generation gets better it sounds a little bit wanky, but that's the truth. That's how I feel. Um, if we can learn from that. So I've learned from stuff. A, I'm around, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm around the family home and with the job that I've got here at Triple M, I'm home by 10, 10.30 every single day. I can do canteen at the kids' school. I can pick the kids up from the school bus. Um, I can have, I can let them have a day off. We, we, as Nudge and we have daddy days where I just spend time with one of my kids and we do that once a month. They're the type of things that I wanted and I never had. So I'm now in a position where I can offer that to my kids. And so far, they're still young enough that they still want to hang with Dad. You know, I don't know how long it's going to continue, but we have moments where I just say, okay, next half an hour, I've got to say yes to everything. So you ask for something and you're going to get it. And, you know, they're not asking for iPads and new iPhones and stuff. They understand it's got to be sensible, but I want to go to the movies. Okay, we're going to the movies. Once we get to the movies, I want a chop top. I want a net... I want all those treats and I've got to say yes to it. And little fun games that we play, stuff that I felt that I didn't get with my dad, I'm trying to offer that sort of fun stuff up to my kids because we've got so many distractions now, kids, you know. I think the relationship's always going to be a little different as we get, as we get different generations move on. So I'm trying my best to, um, to be that fun dad, I suppose, you know. I'm, my wife's reasonably strict. She's from the north of England and she... Um, you know, she's got the discipline down pat, so I, I tend to be like the fourth kid rather than the dad, you know, most of the time. Sometimes I have to put my foot down, and if I do, everyone sort of stops because I don't do it often. But, um, you know, because my dad wasn't there, I suppose I'm, I'm, I'm extra careful to make sure that I am there for my three.